Hey everybody, welcome back to another Pokemon card opening video. And as I'm sure you all know, it is a long, long overdue for me to post another video on this channel. It has been, oh my goodness, it's probably been about seven or eight months at least. And it's been just about as long since I've opened up Pokemon cards. Um, things in life get in your way and sometimes you just don't have the chance or don't have the opportunity to do things. But I can't tell you guys how much I have been itching to open up Pokemon cards and talk to you guys again. So uh, thank you for any of you who are coming back and any of you who have stuck around. Um, I know it's been a long, long time since I've opened, but um, I am looking to get back into it slowly at first, most likely. Um, can't make any promises, but geez. It has been a very, very long time since I've opened. Uh, but anyways, I don't want to get into the nitty gritty of things that happened. I just want to dig into the Pokemon cards. And as you can see here, and probably from the thumbnail, we have these lovely Pokemon tins that have just come out uh, recently, I think. Um, they're one of the more recent products that I have bought. I have not been purchasing in the past... Oh, probably five or six months. I've uh, missed out on a lot of things other than some of the Evolution products, which we will be digging into next. Um, so I know I am way behind on packs and new sets, but I'm going to dig into the pile that I have because it is a ton. I will, um, I guess I could insert a picture somewhere in here, a little video. You guys might see it. Uh, but yeah, I've got lots to go through. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to do what we usually do, open these all up. We're actually going to open every single tin, I think. Um, I thought these were super cute with the artwork because um, all of them fit together. And apparently there's some awesome stuff in here. So we get two Pokemon TCG booster packs, one metallic Pokemon coin, um, and a Pokemon art card showing the art from this tin. And of course, the tins themselves are super adorable. These are very, very nice tins. And I think I got them without any scratches or anything. But anyways, um, we're going to open all five. So that's going to be 10 packs total. I'm not sure if we're going to have the new packs or not. Uh, but without further ado, let's get to opening them. Okay, guys, so um, I don't really have a great angle to show them all, but um, I will show all the tins really quick. So we've got Bulbasaur. I think I'm showing them in the order that they have the artwork too. Pikachu. Of course, my favorite one, Eevee. Charmander. And of course, last but not least, Squirtle. So it's all the main, all the starters, Pikachu and Eevee from the first gen. Uh, but anyways, we're going to go through these fairly quickly. Um, I do apologize if uh, I um, mess up any of the, oh, it's not a metallic coin. It's just a regular coin. Oh, well, there's your coin. Um, because it's been a long time since I've opened packs, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So this is the artwork, and from the looks of it, it is um, the original artwork. Oh, and it's even got a little spread at the top there and some information about the Pokemon. So if you want to read that, go ahead and pause it. But there's our first card. I will set that down. And our two packs, oh, these fit in here nicely, are right there. Um, now, I'm not sure if we're getting new packs, old packs, Old packs, a Fates Collide and a Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. Um, so, again, like I was saying, I'm not sure if I'm going to get the card trick right or anything. Um, we might as well just dig into it. Because uh, it's been a, oh boy, a long time since I've opened Pokemon card packs. And I've forgotten everything. There is the code for whoever. I think these ones were three and two, question mark? Correct me if I'm wrong. We'll find out soon enough. So our first pack is Fennekin. <laughs> Seal, a Burmy, a Larvitar, Bronzor, Wigglytuff, Alas's Special, Ammonite, Reverse Hollow is a Vullaby, just a common, and our first rare, getting back into it, is a non hollow Mothum. Oh well, first pack, I'm not, I wasn't expecting too much. I'm actually not expecting much from these guys. I'm kind of hoping there'd be some new packs, because I know with the team up and everything, they're all things that, um, Pokemon cards, and there's a ton of new ones. Um, oops, three, four and two, I think, is it? The the code, the, the, the thingy for this? Oh my goodness. I am so out of practice, guys. It's not even funny. Sneasel, an Alolan Vulpix, a Percy, 
Noibat, a Fire Energy, Electabuzz, Mount Lanakila. So I think I got the card trick right, which is impressive. A Kiawe. Our reverse is a reverse rare, which is awesome. And a Zumaril. And our next rare is a Crab Abominable. So we really got nothing out of that first tin, which again, like I said, didn't surprise me. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I was hoping we would get like some team up or something. <gasps> the coins are different. This one's a little right. A Lolan Raichu, that is stinking adorable. Oh my goodness. And here is the card on our second one. Again, shows you your artwork and all of that. That's super awesome. Sorry for bumping you guys. And let me guess, same things. Yep, Fates Collide and Burning Shadows. Give me a second here. I apologize if I'm making lots of noise with the tin. Like I said, it has been a long time since I've taped recorded whatever you want to call it and um i am a little bit rusty my recording area is well it's different because i did move but uh we'll see how this works out a diglet a spoink a jigglypuff a deerling riolu a loudred worm a dam a pupitar our reverse is another reverse rare uh so that is a moltres and our rare in this pack is hey we got a hollow with a tyranitar i think i've got a number of these cards actually um i don't think we're going to be finding much for new stuff unless maybe some of these burning shadows packs has something new um but yeah i've been uh wanting to get into the new packs which look pretty cool i haven't seen oh Look at the damage to the cards in that corner, guys. Holy crud. Is that the rare that was damaged? These were really poorly cut. Um, but anyways, um, I have I, I do want to see the new team-up cards, but I haven't been following the TCG as much as I used to. So I might... I, I, I mean, if I end up opening up some team-up packs, I'm not going to really know what I'm getting. So that's kind of cool. An Olivia, a Lunatone, a Plumeria... Our reverse is a Krogunk, and our rare is a Toxicroak. So we went basic to stage one. But again, nothing in tin number two. Well, okay, almost nothing. We I, I was about to open Eevee, but we're going to leave Eevee for last because, you know, Eevee's my favorite, and luck should be on our side with that. Here's another coin, same one that we got the first time. And we'll skip to the fourth piece of artwork. Pause it and read it if you want to. I'm actually kind of making a little thing down there with all the artwork on it. So put the tin aside. And again, we will start with Fates Collide. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm excited to get back into this. I think this is another green code card. Oh my goodness. Where are all the pulls? You'd think for my first time back, we would get some extra special luck, but maybe I'm being punished for not opening Pokemon cards for so long. Ah, who knows. Uh, Wormadam, we have a Dome Fossil Kabuto, a Pokemon Fan Club Reverse Hollow, and our rare is a Superior. I really like the artwork on that. It's a really pretty card, but again, nothing from it. Oh, and now for Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. While I'm opening this up, um, I know that we had a uh, Pokemon Direct recently, so they announced the new Pokemon, um, the starters. What is your guys' favorite? I'm... To be entirely honest, I wasn't super excited about them when I first saw them, but now that I've been looking at them more, I am really loving, um, I think it's Sobble, the water starter, an adorable little chameleon, oh my goodness. I uh, can't wait to see all the other stuff that comes out, and I honestly can't wait to have a new Pokemon game. Pokemon Let's Go has been a blast, but I need more. Our reverse hollow in this one is a horsey, and our rare is a Salazzle GX, and our first awesome pull. And I forgot my sleeves again. This is what happens. I am never planned. I'm never ready to go, but we have a GX. We actually pulled something awesome. So Salazzle GX, we have a pull. We managed to get something in this opening, which is good. I was just talking about the luck because, uh, you know, it's been a while, but... We did manage to get something. So this here is the last piece of art with artwork with Squirtle and Magikarp there in the background. Oh, we've got, whoopsies, as I bump the camera. Sorry, guys. We've got four packs left. We shall see what we get out of these ones. 
another Fates Collide. I don't know why I keep showing you guys the artwork, because we all know the two packs. It's kind of disappointing. I was looking forward to something newer, because these are like brand new products, and they put in old packs. Like, I don't understand why they do that from time to time. Um, anyways, I'm, I'm getting off topic. I was talking about the new games. What is your guys' favorite starter out of the three of them? Um, usually I go for either water or fire starters, but yeah, like I said, Sobble, jeez, sticky cards. Sobble is my favorite, so, oh, Dome Fossil Kabuto is our reverse and our rare in this pack. Yes, I got an Evolution! It's an Umbreon EX. Oh my goodness. And finally, we are starting with the pulls. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to grab sleeves as soon as I'm done recording and make sure that I put these guys into sleeves. But this Umbreon is definitely going into my collection. That is one gorgeous, gorgeous EX. Oh yes. Oh yes. Okay. Well, this, this opening has officially been redeemed because of the last two packs and it looks like we've got another white code card so I cannot complain about this anymore. Guess all I had to do was open my big mouth. Oh, we have a Noibat, an Alolan Grimer, a Riolu, Electric Energy, Lightning Energy. I can never, it, I always get confused on those things. A uh, Chameleon, a Buffalant, our Reverse is a Persian which is another Reverse Rare so that's three of them so far and our Rare in this pack is a Deancey Holographic. So I guess out of 10 packs we haven't done, we're almost at 50% pulls. Almost. Now it's up to Evie to come through with the goods. Um, I got all of these at a couple different places. I got I think the Pikachu and the Eevee at um, EB Games. Oh, the artwork on this is bent. Oh, that makes me mad. I might have to go and buy another one of these tins just to get a card that isn't all messed up. Um, but yeah, I got the two for, I think, $12 at Canadian, in case anybody was wondering, I'm Canadian. Um, $12 Canadian at EB Games, whereas the other three I had to get from Toys R Us, which still exists up here, um, for, I think they were 13 so it was a buck more, but... I couldn't seem to find the other ones at EB anywhere, so it was whatever I could do. So, second last pack. I'm actually really impressed that I can remember the card trick and everything for these, because, oh boy! Gothita, a Solosis, Snivy, a Snubble, Zygarde, Winsicott, and I feel like I'm talking either too loud or too much, because my voice is starting to go. I've got to remember to keep water down here when I'm recording, because, oh boy, uh, Servine is our reverse holo, and our rare is a white Kiram, which is a holographic. Nice. Okay. Okay, we're, we're at 50 We're at 50%. Last pack. Come on, Evie. Give me something good. Like, a full art would be nice, or... You know, something, something rare, something, maybe not, green code card. I've got to try and remember to open these things so that I don't give it away for myself. I think there were still prism cards in this, so maybe we'll get something. Was there prism star cards? I don't remember anymore. Um, I could be just talking out of my butt, because that does happen. <laughs> an Alolan Vulpix horsey. It seems to be in like a sequence. Every time I see an Alolan Vulpix, there's a horsey there. Fairy energy. Poe Town, Porygon 2, Weakness Policy, our Reverse Hollow is a Dusclops, which is just a uh, uncommon, and our final rare in this opening is an Alolan Eradicate. So Eevee did not come through with the goods this time. We did get a hollow from it, but uh, we did end up pulling some awesome cards anyways, uh, and I will show you guys the artwork here in a minute too. let's take a look at uh, what we got here. So we got three reverse rares. We got a Persian, a Moltres, which I think I've got like three or four copies of that card. It's a pretty card. I like it. Um, we got this Azumarill. We got three holographics. So we got the white Kiram. We got Deancey and we got Tyranitar. I think I have all three of those as well. We did end up getting two um, rare cards. I don't remember what they're called. They're not hyper rares. Ah, whatever. We got two 
of our other cards, we got Zalazzle GX, which I love the hollow on these. Love them, love them, love them. I, I don't know why. Just the pattern is so cool. And my favorite card in the opening, obviously, is of course this Umbreon GX, or GX. It's not a GX, it's an EX. This Umbreon EX, uh, which will be added to my EV collection. But anyways, guys, thank you so, so much if you came back and watched this video. I know it has been a long time, like I said, since I've recorded. And I am a little bit rusty, but thanks for bearing with me. Uh, we will have more videos in the future. I've got some of the Evolutions tins that I found, plus there were those box sets, and I've got older products. Don't have a ton of the new stuff, but uh, we'll slowly get through everything, and we might get surprised in the meantime. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye!